Hey everybody, welcome back for another React to Progressive Rock. And of course, I am going through a lot of Progressive Rock over the last year. I started more or less reacting last March, I think it was, February or March of 2020. So however many months that is, that's how long we're still doing it. And today is a special pick, of course, because it's one of my Patreon supporters. Thanks to uh, this brand new guy and his dog, his doggy, sidecar dog. And Woody, thanks guys, um, Prog Dogs here for your listening enjoyment as well. We're going to listen to Time Has Come from the album Beware of Darkness from Spock's Beard. So Spock's Beard, uh, yeah, I'm pretty new to them. And this is the second react to a Spock's Beard song. So here we go. Oh yeah, it's a pretty long song too. It's like... 16 minutes or so. It's playing with some major minor. Ooh, pretty aggressive. I'd say kind of Genesis. I like the bass, it reminds me a lot of the bass on... The Lamb Lies, the Lamb Lies Down on dry, dry, Broadway. The bass sound is similar to that album. Anything this reminds me of Pink Floyd, but it's pretty unique. I 
find it interesting how a lot of these progressive rock bands are inspired by a lot of the original progressive rock end up sounding very, very unlike any of it. that guitar part there. They live through a roll as they give you the task. Steeped in the cell, you your number. They tell you your number is one. As they smile to us, and the proper ladies grow small from the mouths like. Gone. They smile like the sun, say the race has begun, it's time to run. I'm still
still amazed by the bass tone. It's really nice and Chris Squire-ish. has a very unique brand of prog, I would say. It's pretty unique stuff. It's extremely eccentric compositionally. They don't sit still. They don't let themselves get bored or boring. Then you're hungering down in midtown with your brother
Wow, the thing about Spock's beard, they do remind me of one other band, actually. Rishlu. I just actually put that one up there today. I tried to change a few albums because they were just static for too long. It's nice to keep a variety up here. Yeah, they remind me a little of Rishlu as far as a band who's making progressive music and it's very unique, like truly unique. Uh, even though you can sort of say, oh, this kind of reminds me of Pink Floyd here. It reminds me of Queen. This reminds me of the Beatles. Think about if you're super unique is usually it takes a little longer to... To warm up to a band like that because a lot more foreign foreignness to it and uh, i would say this this um sounds very american very american even though you know i cited all these influences that are mostly european bands um, but this band to me it feels very american they're really not trying to follow a formula they are totally um just doing their own thing Sometimes uh, I loved it more than other times, right from the first listen. There was one part that was... Doo, 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 doo. They had a really uh, powerful feeling there. I just felt that. And uh, other times I'm just sort of uh, just listening uh, with bewilderment uh, at this really unique band. So I'd like to know what you think too. Leave your comments below if you're new to this band like I am, more or less, or you're familiar... And they're just an old hat to you. And that's it spiraling out. Talk to you later.